YouTube, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. My, na my name is Riley Stewart. Um, today we have a very special video planned. I'm with my friend Cameron over here, and he's got his C6 Corvette that has quite a few mods over here, and we're just gonna get right into it and show you guys all about this special car. All right, so just uh, tell us about the car, Cam. Yeah, man, so my name's Cameron, obviously like Riley said earlier. Um, car's a 2006 C6 base model Corvette. That's why it's the narrow body. Uh, people always point out, you know, Grand Sport, ZR1, um, Z06, they're all going to have a little bit different fenders, but those cars are all a little bit wider in the front and the rear. Um, this started life as a bone stock C6 Corvette. Uh, I wanted the impression that the original guy that purchased it spec'd it out at the dealership because of the red interior, which is pretty unique on the earlier cars. Um, you don't really tend to see that much. Nowadays with the C7, C8, dealerships are going to be ordering them more because they know younger crowds like the red interior. So I was in the market for a car. Um, I hadn't had something fun in a while. This is my second Corvette. I had a yellow Z06 that I absolutely loved. Uh, and that car was honestly just as much or more fun to just drive. Um, this car is a hell of a lot faster, but it's just a really much different setup. This is more of a street strip setup for drag racing, roll racing. The other car was more of you can just take it out and really enjoy it. You can still race it, it was still fast. It just wasn't on this level of uh, dig racing, drag racing fast. Nice. So as you can see, it's on a stock set of wheels right now. Um, I do have a drag pack, which are gonna be skinnies in the front. They're like five inches wide, and then 17 by 10s in the rear. Um, I use that setup mainly for a um, little bit of street action, but mostly when I go to the strip, which we're down here in Southwest Florida, so that'd be Immokalee, um, has an eighth mile racetrack, and then Bradenton Motorsports Park, which people are probably familiar of up in Tampa. I haven't made it up to Bradenton with this car yet. I did take it to Immokalee. It ran pretty good, but Immokalee's track preparation kind of sucks, so yeah. it was spinning, couldn't really get a good decent 60 foot. Uh, but the car was rolling up top. I mean, it trapped 109 in the eighth, so that's pretty stout. Um, and then, like I was saying earlier with the red interior, um, so somebody probably ordered this car. Started life stock. A guy in, I believe it was Tennessee, um, built the car. And um, I actually purchased it from one of his close friends that had bought it from him. So I had an idea of everything that was already done to it. Um, anyway, like I said, I was looking at BMWs. Market was crazy high. Ended up just stumbling upon this on Craigslist. Funny enough, I've been looking at Facebook Marketplace car gurus and I saw the silver. I was like, okay, I like silver. I saw the red interior and I was like, okay, that's pretty special. The price is really reasonable and the miles, the car has 26,000 miles on it. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. 1,800 miles on it. So I bought it that's with under 25,000 miles um, and it was a very fair deal. So, and the car was already pretty much done. I had built my old Corvette. I had another LS swapped Colorado um, that I, we can insert a picture of. Um, but I was familiar with the platform, already had a lot of money dumped into it. So I was like, okay, let's just roll with it. Went and saw the car. The gentleman was really nice. He was willing to hold, hold the car for me for a few weeks to get funds situated. Um, and then just made a deal and made it happen. Um, with the boost juice and the methanol setup, if you do run out, it's not a huge concern because you just don't want to go into boost or really push the car too hard because that lack of methanol and the added timing that you can use when you have more octane is not going to be there. Um, I'm not too concerned about the car because the motor's built, so it's built far past the amount of power it's making now. Right. Um, the motor probably can handle somewhere right around the thousand or a little under mark pretty reliably and safely. I'm not exactly sure with the transmission because once you start to push 900 plus with the 6L80, even if they're built, you really got to have somebody that knows the transmissions well. Because unlike the older cars, when you could just take all the torque management out of the 4L80, 6L, or 4L80 and the 4L60, if they're built, you can't quite take all of the torque management out of these cars because the transmissions will not act right. Let's talk about the exhaust. So exhaust setup, long tube headers, no cats, and then. It's actually something that I do want to change. I bought the car with them. Uh, they're Flowmasters, which, you know, Flowmaster gets a lot of hate. The car is pretty like throaty right now. So it's got a kind of an older school sound. Yeah. Uh, it does drone a little bit, which I'm not a huge fan of. I've actually been looking into the NPP exhaust, which is a factory system um, that they put on the Z06 and Grand Sports or higher end um, 
Z51 cars, which it says a Z51 car, but it was before that exhaust came out. Right. And they have it where you pass 3,500 RPMs and the valve's open, so it's pretty much straight through. And when you close it, when it's less RPMs, it's a lot quieter, which I like that setup. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with us in this video today. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, and yeah, that's been it. Anything, any last words yes, you want to say? Yes sir. Thanks for doing the video. Always a pleasure hanging out with All right. you. Alright, I'm going to link his old channel in the bio. Maybe I can convince him to do go, some Go look videos. at those videos from six years ago. No beard. Uh, C5 cam. Corvette. Alright so. guys, we'll see you in the next one. Appreciate it. Bye. That's what I like. Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes. Laughing with my friends under the sky Following our hearts, so then we take a ride Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly Fly away That's the only way to get that high